The second agreement is don't take things personally. You are never responsible for the actions of others. You are only responsible for you. And this resonates to me so completely because when people come to you, whether it's in anger and throwing words that are mean-spirited or negative energy, when you can truly inside say, this is not about me, it's almost as though you can let this energy just go right by you and continue to be centered. Don't take anything personally. I love this one. This says, I live my life, I don't live your life, right? And I, if I understand you're gonna put your life on me, I don't have to take that. I can just say, hey, you live your life, I'll live mine. I think this is the second hardest one. No matter what happens outside of you, it has nothing to do with you. It's just the perception of the rest of the world. The only thing that matters is what you think of you. My favorite of the four agreements is don't take things personally. And I know that's so hard for many people, but you say, and this really elevated my sense of uh, consciousness when I first realized that, oh gee, I shouldn't be taking things personally because everything is coming from whoever is judging you or making assumptions about you. That's their point of view that mm -hmm. you have absolutely nothing to do with. Exactly. Okay, taking things personally, you say, is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything then is about me. Mm -hmm. And everything isn't about me. Everything is about whoever it is that's making the assumption. Exactly. Right? Yes. You know, the same way that you're the main character of your story. You're the main, so is everybody else. Exactly. You're only secondary character in everybody else's story. It's a big lesson you have to learn, mm -hmm. particularly when you're a public figure. And I know everybody else experiences it at their own level, but when you're a public figure, and I, I remember years ago when Ellen DeGeneres first interviewed mm -hmm. you for O Magazine, that's one of the things she was wrestling with at the time, because mm -hmm. she'd just come out and people mm -hmm. were making all these judgments about her. And it's hard when you hear people say mm -hmm. unkind things about you. And that's what I always think. You don't even know me. Why are exactly. you saying those things? Yes. Well, they say it because they have nothing else to do, really. They have newspapers to sell. Yeah. They have their own agenda. But it has nothing to do with me. But if you see, she make a big difference. Oh, yes. People. Hasn't she? Yes. She stand in her own truth. Stand in her own truth. Yes. The truth will not kill you. Yes. By the opposite. Yeah. We have a question about, uh, about this very thing, uh, not taking things personally, from Cynthia, who's a customer service agent. Cynthia? A challenging job for somebody who might take things personally, I must say. Hi, Oprah. Hi, Dan Miguel. My name is Cynthia. I love Super Soul Sunday. I've been studying, reading, and following the four agreements for over 20 years. I work in customer service. And I love what I do, make people happy, bring light to the world. My question is, how do I not take things personally when I come across that one customer that I can't turn around, who walks in the door unhappy, and no matter what I do, with as much energy as I have, no matter what I do, it doesn't make a difference. How can you help me? It's, a, it's extremely easy, you know? She don't have the right to change anybody. She has the right to let them know what she believes. Uh, she's responsible for what she said, but she's not responsible for what people understand. Yeah. She don't have to make her happy. No, no, not at all. It's nothing personal. You cannot force anyone to change, really. Anything. 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 Mm -hmm. And we don't have the right to try to control people. You know, we need to respect because with respect, we find peace with ourselves and with everybody else. 